Okay, back in the boat this morning. So we've got all of our bulkheads in position now. Uh, we wanted to get them glassed in today, but it's actually minus two outside, minus five overnight, so too cold to glass today. So what we're gonna do is wait till next week. It's gonna be around 10 or 12 degrees with the heater on. That's absolutely perfect. So what we're gonna do is just make sure that everything is ready for glassing in. So what we need to do is just get these two bulkheads completely aligned. We wanna make sure they're absolutely parallel so that when we come to do uh, any furniture work and cabinetry work afterwards, just makes our life a lot easier. So. What we're going to do is cut a piece of rectangular sheet material to go in here and that will serve two purposes. It can square up these two bulkheads and we can use it as a temporary saw bench. So what we'll do is we'll just put some little um, lats or supports on either side, put that sheet across, probably put a little uh, foot in the middle and that will double up as a, uh, as a workbench and we can easily remove that when we are ready. So let's get that sheet cut. So we've got our workbench in, so that's great. We can put a saw on here, we can put some tools, screws, whatever. We've just noticed that this bulkhead here, in order to get this absolutely square, now it is uh, parallel uh, on both sides, you can see that it's absolutely perfect, which is great. What we do need to do is this has just got a slight bow in it. So what we're gonna do actually is we need to just trim this edge slightly. And we've also got to trim the frame, we think, in here, and then that will line that up uh, vertically, absolutely perfect. So we'll get that trimmed. I think we might need to just get a bit out of here as well. That bulkhead is now set properly, so completely vertical. Did have a little bend in it here. So what we've done is we've just put some screws in the top and then we've put a screw in at the bottom here into this sort of um, bed base and we've managed to straighten that all up. And that's, I think it's just because it was stood here on its end for a couple of weeks. Damp atmosphere, it's just got a slight bow in it. So we've managed to take that out, it's perfectly straight now. I have to just trim this little bit of the floor as well. So what we're gonna do, now that we've got it set, we don't want it to move so that we're prepared for next week. We're just gonna drop a couple of little tabs on, uh, just some glass, sort of one inch strips, just to hold it in place. And that means when we come in next time, we can just absolutely crack on and get that done. And then same deal over here as well. So we've just set, so we know this end is perfect because when we set it up originally, but again, this end has just moved slightly. So we've just wedged it, got it absolutely perfect on the digital level. And again, what we'll do is just drop a couple of tabs in just to make sure that doesn't move.
we are ready to tab in these bulkheads. Rich is just warming himself on the diesel heater. Um, so what we need to do is just sand the top of these bulkheads because uh, just because this ply has like a like a coating on it, I think. So we're just going to give it a light sand. Um, obviously, just make sure all of the glass is fully sanded as well. Perhaps we just need to come down here. Um, and then we can move over to this bulkhead and this one over here. So these have already got a little tab in, just holding them in place. And what we'll be doing is using three different sizes of chopped strand mats. So this is 600 gram. We've had it chopped to size. So we've got an 80, uh, I think that's a 150 and a 220. So what we'll be doing is laying down the, the 80 first. We'll go over with the 150 and then also go over with the 220. Might even stick an extra 220 on it. Three layers should be fine. And all we're doing is just following what the original factory did. So this is what they've done in the factory, chop strand mat. I know there's lots of debate online about using epoxy and using different types of fiberglass, but we're just gonna follow what the original uh, sea line factory did. Um, this whole boat core hull is actually laid up in chop strand mat. In fact, I'll put a link in the description to a, a video of uh, this exact same hull being laid up with a with a chopper gun so we're going to follow that we've we've had a chat with the structural engineer and he's also fine with that so uh, yeah let's get all this blast into place
quick update so we've got all our plywood all sanded ready to go just put some masking tape around here with this film just to try and keep the resin off the um, bulkheads as much as we can and then we've also fitted this um, ply sheet here so 12 mil epoxied on we put epoxy on the back side of this and on the bulkhead itself sanded it all first then put a load of screws in as you can see and you can see actually where that's oozed through and that's pulled that up nicely so that should be super strong so next we'll get the glassing done on the top of these bulkheads Okay, it's the next day and uh, our tabbing has all set up. So in the end, we put down four layers of 600 gram chop strand mat. Um, we followed the Lloyd's guide for tabbing bulkheads. So uh, yeah, hopefully this should be, I mean, it is, it's super strong. I've had a good push on this this morning and um, I think you'll delaminate that plywood before it would ever come out. And we've actually taken out bulkheads in the boat that have been tabbed this way. And trust me, it is not easy to get them out, is it? They, they do not want to come out. So, yeah, super, I think this is super strong. The beauty of polyester as well is that it just blends nicely to the existing hull as well, because obviously the rest of it was chopper gunned up. You just get this nice blend in the corners, and it just looks it looks, it looks factory, uh, which is what we're after. We have got some uh, pokey bits. So we've got some pokey bits down here and some pokey bits down at the bottom. So um, we'll just need to trim those up. But next, we're going to move to the front of the boat. I'll just take you down the front here. And we've got this bulkhead here that we're going to lay up now. So same deal. We just need to sand uh, this stringer here. Obviously sand the underside of the deck here. We've already started just here. But we need to carry that through. Uh, and we need to just do a bit, of, a bit of sanding here. And then we'll be doing the same again. Four layers of chop strand mat.
okay, that's going to be a wrap for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one.